Good morning, everybody. I uh, hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I'm. It's a day after Christmas for me. In England, they call it Boxing Day. Take all the spare food they have left over and give it to the poor in a, a box. So that's where Boxing Day came from. I think I got that right. What I'm doing with you today is something very um, different. I am using Office Depot's professional photo paper. And right there, okay, professional photo paper. The, their packages today may not even look at this, but this is very good. And, the, and I'm using this because they coat the back side of the paper with plastic. And so our exercise is with stencils and alcohol ink today and we're going to use that photo paper to make a print. Now to keep this video from being 80 minutes long or something I decided to start the project and then show you how to do an application of it. First thing you need to know is you need to have two bowls of alcohol this one is 99% and it is strictly used for cleaning your brush between colors. This one is 70% alcohol and it stays clean because you're, you dip only a clean brush into it to um, reignite the um, alcohol ink. Now I put, when I say reignite, I put it on a palette and about five seconds after it's on the palette, it's dried out, but you can reactivate it with 70%. I'm using a kind of square brush um, because I fi figure I can do this particular project the best with this type of brush. Now what I'm aiming for is using a stencil. And I used one stencil and this thing is really, this has been used a lot as you can see. So I kind of positioned it up here and I taped it onto my drawing board. And then I'm coming in and I'm using another stencil just for the heck, heck of it on the other side. And I've got to get this out of the way. It's in the way. Okay. And um, anyway, I'm going to take the clean side, and you can kind of see through this, so you're not laying your stencil on top of something that's already been done. And so you position it where you want it, and this is where I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you can see. All right. So I'm going to position it where I want it, right there. And then I take a piece of, they call it painter's tape. And I just tape it to my desk surface just to keep the, st the uh, stencil where I want it to be. The other thing I do is I don't worry about it being a very exacting thing because alcohol inks are kind of runny. So now I'm going to dip this in my, this brush is clean, I made sure it was clean. So I'm going to dip it in my 70, you can't see any ink coming off of that. And I'm going to set it aside and dip it in the color I want. And in this case, I'm going to be using, um, I call it, uh, it's Pinata's Bright Yellow. I love this. So I'm going to dip some on the plate here, a little extra. Now I take the, uh, I'll move this out of the way, alright, so I take my paper towel and I make sure that it's not too loaded, and then I proceed to hold my fingers here and just to do this, and I try not to get it on the, um, out of the targeted area that I want to use. I just want to paint this part 
Well, this goes right on, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Oops, got a little over the edge. All right, now I'll show you how to clean that up. It's super easy. And then I let this dry. And it, otherwise, if you lift it too soon, it will um, pull up by cohesion and be just a mess. So meantime, I'm cleaning my brush because I'm going to do the next step of this. It's going to be really a gardeny garden, I think. I don't know. And see if this is working. I wonder if this is working. It's no, it's not. It's not hooked up. Okay, you can use a hair dryer on it or one of those little heat guns and speed it up. But I, I wait. I'll just wait for the process. And uh, it's still not done. Another thing I see artists do is this. <laughs> sort of like if you, you're getting uh, kind of hot flashes or something. So you do this. I'm going to take a risk here, and I carefully lift this up, and there we have it. Now, I have some ink where I don't want it, so what I'm going to do is clean my brush really good. This is getting pretty muddy, but it, it works. And I dry it off on a paper towel, make sure it's clean, 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 clean. Then I take a little bit of the 70, and I'm just going to put it right on this, and look at that come right up, because this is plastic, and so far, it's not doing anything to that color. Okay, so there you have it, and, um, Now we're going to take another stencil. I'm not quite sure which one. I'll try another one here. It's hard. you got to kind of figure out what you want. These, this might be good. Um... Just use the cert yeah, that would be good. I'll start down here. Okay. Now I'm kind of getting in between these and I'm just turning it. And then I take my little piece of tape. Okay. And I secure this. I want to get this out of the way. And secure this when I get it where I want it so it doesn't move on me. And this I'm going to have to be a lot more careful of because it's sheer. To make sure my brush is clean again. You don't want to muddy your muddy the waters. And um I think I'll do a yellow there. I just, you'll notice I'm very gingerly doing this. And with one hand, I'm holding it down. Can you see that? Oh. No, I've got to move this camera a little bit. There you go. Just move the camera. There you go. Okay. This is a learning curve making movies with an iPad. <laughs> well, I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas. I know I did. Um, I got invited to go 
deeper into the mountains, uh, and the, and a very good friend of mine always has a very magical Christmas, and I love going, but her road has been um, annihilated by the weather, and it was collapsing, and there was a lot of ice on it, and I'm going, I don't think I want to deal with that. Now, here we go again. We wait again. <clears throat> You can fan it. Isn't that a pretty design? Can't use these cardboard ones with the alcohol ink. You'll totally ruin them. But they do very well with um, other things. Look how, how interesting that is, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, um, now, if this was acrylic craft paint, I could really have a good time with this. Hmm. Huh. Anyway. Fan it. That's what I meant to do. Slowly lift it and remove it. Wow. Now I see we have a uh uh wrong wrong bowl. We have a little smudge in there. So I'm going to take this off with a 70. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it smudges on the leaf itself, but when it smudges away, I don't like it too much. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, this one will have to be a blue because we need to pick up this. So you want to clean your brush. Let's see here. I want you to be able to see this, so I'm going to move it over. Holes in the way. Okay, tape it down. I, I don't think that'll affect this. Um, might want to use a couple more. Anyway. Let's go. We'll get this all clean. The brush is clean. Wipe it off on this. Make sure. Okay. Now I'm going to do blue on this one. I always use no more than five colors, and I don't care if it's an elaborate painting or what, because I get confused. Um, about how to how to make all the colors go together if I have too many. This is a very very pale blue. I think I need to add a little bit more. This is needs a little oomph. Yeah. Okay. Give it a little oomph. Hmm. Oh, we got that tape there. that in the dish, clean it, fan it. Once you get going, it goes pretty fast. Okay. 
That's a pretty one. I'll show you these while I'm waiting. There's another pretty one right there. Look at how that would look. Woo! If I only knew how to achieve that, that'd be beautiful. This is another one I use a lot. It's like a lace doily. Okay, that one's down a little bit. I might have some fun with the alcohol inks too. No, that's fine. That's down a bit, isn't it? Well, we can use some markers. All right, so I'm done with the stencil part of this, and I want to come in and kind of finish it up, clean it up, so to speak. I always have to clean stuff up. So I'm going to take a, a thin brush. I use these old beaters, you know. And uh, I'm going to go into the 70. And I'm going to do this. Come on, let's load up. I need a little more pigment than that. There we go. I'll get this one a little bit more. You can go in and fix it. And the other thing that I noticed that happened was I lost some yellow here. So all I have to do, if it's bothering me, is to take and dip it, my brush in the 70 and put the yellow on, load it up with yellow, Let's see, and lay the rest of the line in just like that, and you can finish it up. See? Now, when alcohol ink dries and you come back in with a second color or a, another layer of the same color, it gets more intense. But you want to be sure that... I wanted this to be yellow. For some reason, it wanted to be green. So I cleaned it up that way. And that's how you use stencils with alcohol ink. Now this would make a nice card. Imagine, imagine writing, a, um, thinking of you, uh, any number of things on it in the white area, especially if you set it up in the corner. And you'll notice also that there is a invisible diagonal going through this composition. So as this stands, I'm going to photograph this because this is a card for me. All right, so... Thank you for joining me in my studio, and you have a wonderful Boxing Day. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is a continuation of that little video I had, and um, I really, really kept thinking how pen and ink would just make that pop out. I guess I'm just the pen and ink kid. Um, not a whole lot of line, just some to suggest shape. The mind fills in the rest for you, that's for sure. So I thought maybe you would like to watch me do this. And I'm using a pit pen here. That's um, my go-to because it is good with on plastic. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it's alcohol ink. I'm not sure. I always have to refer to my workbook because I forget. That's why I have a workbook. So anyway, that looks kind of cool. I don't think I should do everything, but let's see. I'm going to go up in this corner. It seems like it needs to be brought out more. So I'm going to go like this. And I know that's pretty much the shape of the uh, stencil.
Yeah, that really makes it pop, doesn't it? Kind of modern. And you know, I'm not worrying about keeping anything in the lines on this one because I don't think it needs to be. Well, drawing goes faster when it's all laid out for you. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I wanted to define this more. And I wanted to define this more. This sort of got lost in the in something, I don't know. Let's do that. I made that up. And I'm just going to suggest some stuff here, nothing too earth-shaking. But this was another little stencil I tried to put over, and it kind of started looking like salad. And um, I just think I need to do something with it here. So it, I do know I'm using something with form. That looks a lot better. I'm one of these neat freaks. Everything has to be uh, neat and clean and orderly and safe and ah. Uh. Okay, here we go. Now, in typical artist form, I have not taken my vitamins or eaten my breakfast, and I let everything go for art. And when people ask me when I'm having fun, it's probably when I'm rebelling from a routine. Sometimes I feel owned by my vitamin cash. So what do you think of that so far? That's pretty cool. I'm just going to go for it. If it doesn't turn out, that's okay. I have to do this this way. Yeah, I'm not worrying about whether it, it all stays within the lines or not, because I know a lot of this is just smear from moving the stencil or from the brush bristles getting underneath. And So this is kind of loosey-goosey stuff. There we go. How do I like that? That's kind of nice, too. All right, so let's hit this last piece here. Now there's another piece, too. We're going to get this. Well, I think this is much better to do this. I really do. You know, if something tells you to do it, do it. It's very intuitive. You say, well, I think if I applied pen and ink to this, it might really pop out and be something vivid. Now, I've got in the back of my mind, somebody gave me one of those diamond craft kits for Christmas. And I'm thinking how I could put the diamonds on this. 
I can't even read the letters on the little patterns they gave me, and it's too tiny for me. But I think I, it, I have all the tools that came with it, so I think I could just sort of put a gem every so often here so that when you move it in the light, it, um, it sparkles. Well, I thought it was very nice, very sweet. I don't think I photograph well, but... Okay. I think that's enough, don't you? Yeah, I do. Oh, I got this to go. I'm always forgetting something. There is, I don't want to do anything more to that. I'm happy with that. I want to thank you for coming to my studio. And you have a great day. Hi again. I ended up bejeweling this stencil creation of mine. And I thought this looked quite cute. And so I just thought I'd show you that as an end thing. Anyway, have a good day. Thank you for joining me in my studio.